coffee in my cute little cup. Welcome back to a new vlog and welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, my name is Liv and I love everything tech. So if that's something you're interested in, please do consider hitting subscribe. And I feel like Fridays have unintentionally become my vlogging day. I feel like I'm always vlogging on Fridays, but I think it's because they are a little bit more chilled compared to the other weekdays because I've normally got like the majority of my to-do list done by Friday. But today, I'm not gonna lie, I am feeling the stress and it is only half eight. And I know I kind of touched on this in my last vlog, but my approach to dealing with this, like when I feel like this is to just meticulously plan things out. I feel like it really, really helps me, especially doing time blocking. You guys hear me talk about time blocking, 24 7 i swear but yeah you guys know that i literally love it and it actually really does help me when i'm feeling this stressed i have a delivery one second okay guys i just got a very exciting delivery i'm sure you can guess what these are for so i'm gonna have a youtube shorts video coming up on these very soon Anyways, as I was saying, I have been using Notion now for so many years for everything when it comes to productivity and time blocking. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely hesitant to use any other apps or software for productivity or anything like that. But AccuFlow have challenged me today to use and test out their software and let you guys know what I think of them. Anyways, let's get started with getting set up at my desk. Now, keyboard I'm currently using is still the Logitech Casa Keys. So yes, I'm still absolutely loving this. Now, in terms of mouse, I am actually using the Razer Orochi gaming mouse. I don't know if you guys caught up with my last video, but in my last video, I mentioned that I went to another Logitech event. And in that event, they actually had the Logitech Lift mouse. I'll insert a picture of it somewhere here. And I actually got to play around with it. And now I, quite literally I'm having dreams about the lift mouse so later on today I think I might purchase it so if I do you guys will purchase it with me um because yeah I do really like this one but I feel like it's not very ergonomic and yeah I don't know it's just not the best I kind of think I've outgrown it so yeah Okay, time to time block our day with AkiFlow. So first, what is AkiFlow? AkiFlow is not a standalone tool. It is basically a place where you can like integrate all of your productivity apps. So basically, rather than me having Google Calendar open, Slack open, Notion open, I can just have AkiFlow open and have everything basically in one place. So it's easier if I just show you rather than tell you how it works. Basically, this is what it looks like when you first open up. Now, the first thing I want to show you in AkiFlow is integrations. So all of the different apps that you can integrate so as you can see I have Google Calendar, Notion and Trello all connected. To be honest no matter what productivity app you use it's probably on this list. So for example I am going to show you how it works. We're going to click on add then you can just add any of these databases or team pages from your Notion and they will automatically appear onto your AkiFlow tasks. Now any changes you make in AkiFlow will be propagated to Notion and vice versa so you don't have to worry about ticking things off in AkiFlow and Notion they'll basically both just work together so that's really cool. So if we click on save changes and then start syncing. And then if we come back into our dashboard, we can see that it has added these tasks that were left to do on my to-do list on Notion. So the reason I think this could potentially be something that I actually do really enjoy using is because AccuFlow really encourages you to actually find and allocate time to each task. However, I just wanna say one limitation that I have found with the AccuFlow and Notion integration is that I can only work out how you integrate databases and team pages, which could potentially kind of slow down my workflow if I was to be using AccuFlow quite a lot. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how I've been using it this week. So I'm now gonna manually input all of my tasks from my Notion to-do list into my AccuFlow. And to do this, 
you just need to go on your inbox and then click on add new task and then write in all your tasks so i'm just gonna do that now i'm just gonna speed this part up okay so that's done so you'll see all of my tasks basically just appear here then basically what i'm able to do is drag and drop these over into the calendar and you'll see that it automatically allocates 30 minutes and if you want to edit that you just click into it come up here and you're able to just change the duration there what you're also able to do is add tags so for me whenever i'm thinking about planning ahead i'm always kind of like in my brain put in all of the different tasks into three different categories so the first one is work secondly is anything i need to do for content and then the third one is personal so that's kind of like life admin so like cleaning my car will end up in personal so you can have a play with this when you come to change the duration as well you just click on this little tag button and then you can just click whichever one it is so i'm going to label that work so what i'm going to do now is use this method to time block my day and i'll show you guys what it looks like once i'm done Okay, and then once I'm done, as you can see, I have my full day time blocked out. So I know exactly what I'm doing every hour of the day. And also I've put all of the tasks that were on my to-dos on my calendar. So hopefully if nothing goes wrong and I manage to stick to this today, then all of my to-do list for the week and for the day will be complete. So that will feel amazing. So I'm going to crack on with my first few tasks of the day. Like I said, all very coding heavy. So yeah, let's get on with it. I don't know if you can see Wendy over there, but she is the biggest fan of the new sofa. She absolutely loves it. Lucky I'm alive with you by my side. Yeah, feeling so right with the love on a Okay guys, it is 11 a.m. now and I've actually finished all of my to-dos. I actually finished about 10 minutes ago. I've just been sat on my phone and having a little cuddle with Wendy. Anyway, and I actually bought some brand new shoes, which I am honestly in desperate need of. So I'm gonna unbox those, grab a coffee, and then get on quickly with the next part of my morning. Increase in DNA methylation in patients with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis carriers of not fully penetrant SOD1 mutations. Uh, 
Um, by the way, just want to say, when I do that, I make sure that I have Do Not Disturb on on my phone because otherwise I would definitely get distracted by notifications. But when I put that on, I'm all good. Okay, I'm back at my desk now. So I've been loving these open incense ones, but I'm currently about to light a positive vibes one, which smells so good. I think incense is either a love or hate thing. Like it's just one or the other. I just find it relaxes me so much and really puts me in like a good headspace. And it smells amazing. Okay, someone just sent me an email and it just reminded me of one of the coolest features of AkiFlow that I have to show you. So they've just asked me for a meeting on Monday and I asked when I'm available for a meeting. And normally I would have to send them back like a list of times. But with AkiFlow, there's this really cool feature that allows you to actually just do it really quickly and easily. So all you have to do is come up on this little Wi-Fi icon that says share availability. Click on that. You can basically just drag and drop when you're available. Then what it's gonna do is come up with a little link and you can then just send them that link and they'll be able to actually book in a time with you. Oh no. <laughs> Making more of a mess here. just finished lunch and now I am gonna plan out a video that actually involves a coding tutorial so I'm about to sit and write the code out for that because it's actually gonna be in Python which I haven't used in a very long time to be honest in a few months so this is going to be interesting. I'm actually going to be making AI in Python, which is something that I have never done before. I'm actually going to be posting it on TikTok along with three other tutorials. So if you're interested in watching them, then definitely make sure you're following me on TikTok. But let me know if you want something in a future coding vlog. So I haven't done a coding vlog in a while. And every time I do a coding vlog, I try to include a tutorial or like a technical aspect to the vlog. So definitely drop me some ideas of what you'd want me to code or what you'd want me to discuss in terms of coding for the next coding vlog because it will be the next one that I film. Okay, now earlier I showed you this mouse and mentioned that I was contemplating buying the Logitech Lift mouse. So we're gonna do it guys, we're gonna buy it. We are going to buy it because every single one of you who's got it has told me how amazing it is. So I'm trusting you guys, I'm putting my trust in you. So let's go and get it. I'm actually gonna use my friend's affiliate link because I'm gonna support her because I love her. Okay, onto the Logitech website. Logitech Lift is what it's called. Okay, here it is. And obviously I'm gonna get the pink one. Oh, you actually get a free mouse pad with it. As soon as something's in my basket, I've gotta buy it straight away because otherwise I will take it out and I won't buy it. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing this, guys. Okay, done. I've done it. I've done it. I'm so excited. I'll defo unbox it for you on the vlog and I'll definitely give you my thoughts on it very soon. I have a desk setup tour coming very soon. Definitely stay tuned for that video because we actually are going to be doing a desk giveaway. Anyways, after this, I am gonna be coding for the rest of the day, not gonna lie. And to be honest, the reality is that if I was to vlog it, you guys would literally be staring at me, staring at my screen for a few hours. I sometimes feel really bad because I think like trying to create content while you're doing a full-time job is really difficult sometimes because I watch other people's vlogs and they're out doing loads of fun stuff like they're going out for nice lunches they're going to like the gym in the middle of the day and i just can't do that so yeah i hope you still enjoy my vlogs anyways for that reason i am gonna end today's video here once again thank you so much to aki flow for sponsoring today's vlog so i'll definitely keep you updated with my thoughts on it and don't forget the link to aki flow will be in the description of today's vlog if you want to check it out and if you're still around drop a 
mouse emoji in the comment section and I will see you guys next time.